welcome to the next episode of Inventor Tips, Tricks and or Tutorials. This is an issue which came up in the office today, was posed to me and I answered it and I thought that's a good idea for tips, tricks and tutorials if you may. The bloke was like, I've got a face, right, and it can be any face, it doesn't matter what it is, but I've got a face and I want to change a colour, I want to change a bit of the face to a different colour, but when I click the face, it's all one face. And then when I right click it and go to properties and then say I want to make it black, the full thing goes black. And I'm like, of course it does because it's one face, man. So normally I think what people do, and I'm guilty of this in the past, is the solution which most people come up with is to create a sketch on the face, draw the bit that they want to have a different color on, and then they'll cut. They'll do an extrusion of like 0.00001 and then cut into it like that. And then that gives them what the, the gives them the illusion of having like a patch face, which they can then change the colour of and make it canary. Give them the canary some love, like that. And it, you think, well, I've done it. Yeah, jobs are good. But what you've actually done is you've created an indentation in the model. You've created some material deformation, if you will. And it's not really the proper way of doing it. It's fine for some people if you don't really care. But we care. That's why you're watching this video because we care. So what's the proper way of doing it? Right, well the proper way of doing it is to create a sketch on the face in question and then draw a closed profile. So it can be a circle, a rectangle, square, it could be a spline, it can be a polygon, it could be anything you want. But you draw the profile of the area that you want to have a different colour. Finish that sketch and if you're using Inventor 2016 you want to go for the split button which is there. If you're using 2015 they combined it with the combine button and when then you drop it down and it's on it but it's the split command you want to go for so you click split and then you want to use split f uh, split face no oh, it makes sense yeah it does doesn't it so we're going to split a face and the split tool is going to be your sketch and think of the split tool is if you've used autocad before and you're using the trim command the trim command asks you for a cutting edge and that would be the edge that all other entities would be trimmed back to. So the split tool is kind of like that. It's like a like a guillotine. It's going to slice through the face. So the split tool is going to be that sketch. The face is going to be that face there. And then you click OK. And then when you move your mouse in, you've created a split in the face using that sketch, if that makes sense. So like I said, it can be any shape. It can be any anything really it doesn't even have to be a shape as long as it's a closed profile and then you can right click on that go to properties and then change it to whatever you want and then it's perfect perfect ah, but but what if what if and we'll go next level here boys and girls although there's not many girls uh, whatever we'll go next level what if what if the face is curved so this face here is it's not even spherical it's just a bizarre curved face which you can't sketch on you cannot create a 2d sketch on that face because you can only sketch on a flat face how would you create a split in something like that well well let's do some magic let's let's go next level with this what you would do is create a sketch offset from the face so we need to find a work plane to use so let's go all right well yx the yx plane which is that one there is that it? No, that's YZ Neil, idiot. It's the X Y. Apparently let is the wrong way around, just confuse my primitive brain. It's the XY plane. So the XY plane is there. So we're gonna create a work plane. Left click and hold and drag to just just so it's sort of offset. It doesn't matter how far away, but about there. And then okay. And then what we're going to do is create a sketch on this plane. And essentially what we're doing is we're going to draw a shape and we're going to throw it against the curved surface. We're going to draw it here and then throw it. So then when it hits the face, that'll be the split tool. But we need to do a few bits and pieces before we get to that point. So we've got our sketch offset from that face like that. And we're going to draw whatever shape it is we're going to draw. Let's just keep it simple. Let's just draw a circle like that. Let's make sure it encompasses a lot of the curved surface. Yeah, it's going to hit quite a few of the curves. Finish that sketch. And I'm going to turn off this work plane because it's flipping hideous. That's it. Right. The next stage 
is a 3D sketch. So you click this drop down arrow next to 2D sketch, go to start 3D sketch, and then do project to surface. Click the face that you want to project onto, click curves, click your sketch, and then make sure you've got project along vector selected, and then click OK. Boosh, smash. It smashes your sketch against that curved surface. It's not the most curvy of surfaces, but it is it is touching it. And then finish your 3D sketch and scroll down the browser. Let's turn off my 2D sketch because I don't need it anymore. And then just using the same technique as earlier, split, split face, split tool, faces to split. Okay, boosh. Look at that. Like a bath. Let's make that black as well. Like, oh, it's a bit ugly. That's a bit ugly. Let's make it brindle. Brindle. I like brindle. It's a nice word. Brindle. But there you go. There's your curved, a curved face, split and coloured. And that's how you do it. All right then. That's it. That's how you do it. That's how you split a face and change its colour. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, see.